clicking on the trigger button in the top right corner of the global view, we open the trigger managers page. We click on add and select keyboard manager from the type combo box. We can also customize the name of the manager if we want and finally click on add. We then select the newly created manager from the list and click on learn. Let's say we want to have the possibility to recall four different layouts using specific combinations of keystrokes. The pressure of L for layout followed by a number from 1 through 4 sounds like a good idea. The list shows all the keystrokes of the current learning session. Since we are not interested in the simple pressure of L, we delete that entry. We are now ready to specify the type of triggers we want. We leave the default type Event, then click on Add All. We can double check if the learning session has been successful. Keeping the press L and pressing 1, we activate the first trigger and that is confirmed by its activity LED blinking. We can repeat the operation for the remaining three triggers L2, L3 and L4. Let's create the first layout, for example our current global view, with the shortcut Command L for Mac or Control L for Windows and name it Global View. We open now the Xbox MD on the home page and we do the same for the Matchbox XL. After having positioned the windows as desired, we create the second layout. Let's see now how to link our new triggers to the several layout recall functions. From the menu Layout, we select Layout Triggers. We then click on the Assign button of the first layout and from the drop-down menu we select Keyboard, Macbook Keyboard and Trigger number 1. We repeat the operation for the second layout, selecting Trigger number 2. Keeping L depressed and then pressing 1, we trigger the recall of layout number 1, our global view. L2 recalls layout number 2. When a trigger having an action assigned in Globcon is activated, in the top right corner of the global view, the trigger LED blinks, informing the user. Let's now click on the global snapshot button and create a new one. We would like to trigger the recall of this new global snapshot with a different combination of keystrokes, not the ones we have already prepared for the layout. We can directly create a new trigger doing the following. Click on Assign and then select Learn. Press G for Global and 1. Select the combination from the list and click on Assign. We can open our trigger list and double check that Globcon automatically created a new trigger, number 5, selecting the appropriate type for the assign action, in this case another event. From the menu settings we can now open the entry actions to see all the actions so far assigned to the several triggers. The first two triggers for the layout recalls and the third one for the global snapshot recall. Let's now mute all the analog outputs of our Andiamo 2 and create a new snapshot. We like the idea to trigger this new device specific snapshot number 2 with a different trigger. Let's then learn the new combination S plus 2 and assign that. Let's double check. A new event trigger number 6 has been automatically created and a new action, device snapshot recall, not global this time, has been assigned to the new trigger. Let's now make some tests. G1 recalls the global snapshot number 1, which updates all the devices and brings back our Andiamo 2 with unmuted outputs. S2 recalls snapshot number 2 of the Andiamo 2, just changing its status, not touching the rest of the devices. 
We can remove a trigger from the trigger manager at any time. If that trigger and actions are signed, Globcon automatically removes those relevant actions. We can still trigger the global snapshot with G1, but we cannot trigger the Andiamo2 snapshot with S2 since we have removed that trigger. Do not confuse triggers, actions and snapshots. We did remove one trigger and its relevant action, but we didn't touch the snapshot which is still there, simply no longer assigned to any trigger. Let's recall layout number 2 with the trigger L2. Let's delete that action from the list and double check that we cannot recall the layout number 2 any longer. Once an action is deleted, Globcon does not remove the relevant trigger, which remains in the trigger manager, ready to be assigned to other actions in future. Don't miss the next video tutorials. You will learn much more about other type of triggers. Powerful. Easy. Globcon.